All right, I respect the game, Ruffles. You come out with a new flavor, and I don't see new anywhere on the bag. You just got to be in the know to know that the Chili Cheese Ruffles, they're brand new, and we're going to check them out. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. All right, so just in time for uh, college football bowl games, uh, NFL playoff games, uh, the holidays, Ruffles has just launched a new chip. This is the Chili Cheese Ruffle. Check it out right there, chili and cheese. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna open the bag. You have to open the bag in order to eat the chip. I found this out at an early age. Uh, you cannot eat the chip uh, through the bag. All right, so there you go. There is a chip. That is a brand new chili and cheese, or chili cheese, uh, chip from Ruffles. Let's go into it. Here we go. Wish me luck. All right, interesting chip. Uh, I'm sorry, where are my manners? There are the chips inside the bag. I usually give you that shot. I did not give you that shot. I was all uh, ready to go and give this a taste test. Uh, let me show you one more chip right there. A decent uh, dusting right there. I don't know. I was excited about this flavor. I was hoping for a spicy chili, not something that's going to burn your face off, just something that would stand out and say, yeah, that's chili. Um, I get traces of it. It's just more cheese than chili. And I'm a little disappointed in that because you see, they got the bowl right there looking good. The uh, chili cheese bowl right there. Uh, these are lacking a little bit on the chili side of things. So uh, second bite. All right, so a little bit more on that one. Um, I guess you're gonna have uh, some flavor better than others on each individual chip. Uh, it is building a little bit, the chili flavor, after two full chips, but at the same time, I still want more chili flavor in a chili cheese potato chip. I'm just saying, I mean, it's in the name, I'm just saying. All right, so I guess it builds uh, with each chip that you eat, uh, but it's still lacking on the uh, chili flavor. Hey, take a look at that. I put a dollop of Daisy sour cream onto this chip. I mean, sour cream uh, synonymous with chili, at least with me it is. Uh, so let's give this a shot, adding a little bit of a pick-me-up to a uh, chip that is coming up a little bit short for me. Let's see what this does. All right, so yeah, that definitely picked it up a couple notches. Uh, definitely will help me uh, finish the bag of those uh, as time goes on around the holidays. Uh, but up front, just by itself, uh, like I said, it needs a little bit more of a uh, chili flavor. I do enjoy the cheese flavor on there. It just needs a little bit of a pick-me-up and the sour cream was a perfect addition. So uh, let's give it a rating, shall we? On a scale of one to 100, with one meaning don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of... I'm going to give the Chili Cheese Ruffles a rating of 79. It's just going to fall short of the 80 barrier. That's a 79, a little bit more spice on the uh, chili side of things, and we're probably in that 82 to 84 range. Uh, an okay chip, not something I'm going to gravitate to the most uh, during the holidays, uh, but still a decent chip, and I will be dipping that in some sour cream. So uh, there you go, another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media getting the word of my channel out to the masses. So in closing, uh, please let me know if you have seen those at a Walmart or your grocery store. And definitely let me know if you have tried those and if you enjoyed them more than me or you enjoyed them uh, less than me. I would be interested to hear. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Thank you for joining me and we'll see you soon with some more reviews. Bye.
All right, bonus footage, a little shout out to the merch store. You can get the uh, Black on Black endorsement logo t-shirt. Uh, I don't normally shout out my merch too often. I did a couple weeks ago, and thank you to everyone who uh, jumped on the site and bought a couple things. We had a bunch of things uh, get sold, and thank you very much. All that money goes back into the channel, uh, so I appreciate it. So the holidays are coming up, and I know we're all ready for uh, 2020 to come to an end. Uh, so let's go. 2021, bring it on.